You know, uh, you know what we need? Well, because if I don't survive, I don't know what to do. I, I'm not leaving any of my stuff to family. Family has not supported me at all during this nightmare. Strangers have supported me. Strangers in... Uh, uh, and I don't even know anybody really well because I'm so critically sleep deprived. I really, there's no go-to people for me because I'm so sick and sleep deprived. And I have, I, I came into the Benzo community critically sleep deprived and, and you can't, uh, I can't function. I can't make friends. I can't. When I'm this tired, I, I can't really even be around anybody. Um, it's strangers in the Benzo community, in the Kiari community, in the uh, um, brain and spine communities that have supported me, you know, loosely, but have supported me far more than my family has. If anything happens to me here, you know, I've got a four bedroom house. I've got a four bedroom house full of stuff, a garage full of stuff. I, I wish, you know, at least like the furniture, my belongings, tons and tons and tons of clothing, at least the belongings, the uh, tangible stuff that you can pick up and move and take out and pack, pack in boxes. I wish I could leave all of this collectively to the Benzo community, to the Chiari people, to the people desperate for brain and spine help. There's, you know what? Like what we need is a, like a chapter of, uh, f a chapter f for the Banzo Coalition. Banzo, what is it? The Banzo Diazepine Coalition, whatever. I don't, what's it called? We need a chapter of that in every city. I wish I could leave my f belongings, or at least half of what's here, to the Banzo community. I know how desperate some of our people are. For clothing, for, uh, like, I have so much stuff. Or that could be sold. All my belongings that could be sold. Um, furniture, clothing, home decor, everything. You know, it's not garbagey stuff. It's not the best of the best, but it's not secondhand, you know. Um, I wish my stuff could, belongings could be liquidated for, we have no Chiari. We have no Chiari community in my city, in my province. Like there's no organization that can, that can help, hands-on help people like me. Or there's no organization that I can donate my estate or half of it to to help other people suffering like I am. That's just insane. It's insane that um, there's no resources to help me in crisis, not through the carry, the, not brain and spine, um, not benzo help from the benzo Ill, illness. And there's also, on the flip side of that, there's nowhere for me to donate to. To donate, like, tangible for, you know, because it's probably not going to happen. The arrangements I made here. And I can't go away. I, I'm so sleep deprived. I can't take care of business. So you can't tell me, oh, well, organize these people to sell your stuff to give to the Banzo Coalition in the United States. Well, I'm in Canada. Are are they helping 
hands-on helping Canadian folks that are dying from benzo withdrawal, that are going homeless or hu literally hungry. I've gone without food here. So do I want my, my estate liquidated? My, at least the contents, not the, my home will be, you know, everything. I've got a bunch of other charities I want to donate to, but all the other stuff. Do I want, do I want to pay somebody here to liquidate contents, to donate to the American when I'm in Canada and Canadians are suffering and there's no help for me or other people here? No, not really. We need Canadian chapters of literally people here on the ground helping people, but also that I can donate stuff to. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating that I can't get help, but also when I'm gone, I can't get help others who are suffering like me. It's just maddening. There's there's no freaking organizations. There's the uh, the Canadian organizations, nonprofits, they fold. They they collapse in on themselves. And there's not enough of us. It's so frustrating. I can't get help and when if I don't survive, you know, it's likely the Kiari that's killing me. If I don't survive, I can't even help other people. And I don't want to just exclusively help Canadians, but I want to help Canadians as well as the American folks that have helped me through this. But I don't want to just say, okay, you know, pay somebody, go out of my way and pay somebody to liquidate my contents of my home and yard and garage and donate that to, you know, the American uh, I think it's an American organization for Benzo Group. I want people here helped as well. I'm too sick to do this. The frustration of this situation is just beyond, beyond description.